Ingenuity recently got a major software update that provides hazard avoidance capability during landing. This should keep it away from big rocks, but what about big piles of sand? On this episode of Mars Guy. Back in April of 2021, Ingenuity just needed to show that a helicopter could actually fly in an atmosphere less than 1% the density of Earth's and maybe manage five flights. After it succeeded, the engineers got a lot more ambitious exploring its capabilities. Then they added more capabilities. Now Ingenuity can adjust its altitude relative to the terrain and choose its own landing site, or airfield, as the engineers say. Before, they had to pick airfields free of big rocks and other obstacles that could potentially damage Ingenuity during landing. Flight 37 on December 17 was the first to apply hazard avoidance at a new airfield, essentially retracing the outbound leg of the out and back Flight 36, which was a reconnaissance test flight. Ingenuity flew over the same wind sculpted sand ripples capturing an occasional color image that shows the beautiful landforms and Mars guy for scale. When it reached the end of its planned flight distance, Ingenuity spent about eight seconds hovering and shifting its position before deciding where to land. It clearly chose to go back to this wide sand ripple topped with narrow ones. The images from the descent have not yet been downlinked, so I'm showing the ones from the takeoff of the next flight in reverse hence the four footprints. The landing straddled the narrow ripple and made the biggest divot yet. The coarse grain size is similar to that of the mega ripple sampled by Perseverance back in early December, so named not because of the size of the ripple, but because of the coarse grains it contains. And it's named a ripple, not a dune, because of the way it's formed, more like ripples underwater with a mix of coarse sand and pebbles dragged into a pile by the wind, along with fine sand grains that bounce into place. The day after Ingenuity landed, Perseverance looked back toward the delta from the location of the sample depot that it's building. See episode 90. Mascam Z captured our hero, more than 300 meters away, just visible straddling the ripple it chose to land on. About two weeks later, Ingenuity took off on its 38th flight, climbing to 10 meters, rotating slightly, and then setting off to the northwest, covering new ground covered in mega ripples. There's a gap in the downlinked navcam images, so the flight picks up again right as Ingenuity is looking for a safe airfield. And once again, it chose to land on a mega ripple, not the terrain in between them. Watch as its shadow comes into view, adding a bit of drama before hitting the ground and bouncing a bit. Then, in what may be a first, Ingenuity keeps the camera rolling for another five seconds as a few sand or dust grains swirl. So, now we've seen that Ingenuity's preferred airfield in this terrain is a pile of sand, which probably looks smooth and safe compared to the adjacent terrain. Maybe the engineers trained it to look for such material, given the safe landings and takeoffs from it in the past. This makes Ingenuity a dune hopper, which, although incorrect, just sounds better than mega ripple hopper. <laughs>